I'm DJ TLM, and this is Share the Knowledge. Today's podcast is brought to you by Banzoogle. So let's travel in time for a second because I know I had a question here, and that question was, what do you think about DJ equipment, so media players, turntables, controllers, in the next 10 years? I think we're seeing a lot of what's happening already because in the last 10 years, we've seen how we've evolved, maybe last 15 years, how we went from all DJs having turntables to using media players like the CDJ, and then DVS timecode came out, and now a lot of DJs are using timecode, or they're using a controller, or they're using a media player, and some are still using real vinyl with turntables. Now, with the last couple of uh, additions to that, you have Phase coming out now, which is going to allow people to use turntables without using the tone arm and needle. And I can see that slowly but surely we'll be stepping away from having tone arms and needles, but that's going to take some time. And that's just for us, the DJs. So if you're a consumer and you're collecting vinyl, you're always going to have a turntable and needles. They're going to be there. As long as vinyl is being produced for collectors, you're going to have turntables and needles. So that's not going away. It's probably probably just going to get a lot smaller, become even more niche than it is now. But for, but for performing DJs, I can see needles like disappearing and you're going to have like a couple of DJs who make that their actual trademark that they still bring a turntable with a needle. So they're stacking up on needles right now, probably. But for most of us, it will probably be some sort of controller most likely standalone, so you're not using a computer anymore because the computer is probably going to be incorporated into the device. There's going to be moving platters for the people who want the moving platters. But that's as far as I can see it go now. Of course, we can start to think beyond that, that you're not bringing your music collection anymore. Everything's in the cloud. You just walk into a club. Uh, club you log in on the DJ device and then you get access to your own files and you can do it from there. Stuff like that's probably possible, um, but I don't know if they're gonna go that fast because you see how the DJ industry works. They're adding new stuff, but they do it slowly. They don't wanna kill their own market because they have a lot of controllers out now and if they do something totally new that's maybe more innovative, they're not going to sell any of those old controllers. So slowly but surely things happen, but that's why you need that competition because you, if you only have one brand, then they can really take their time. But now if you have phase coming out, that might trigger other manufacturers to look at that like, hmm, okay, wireless DVS, maybe we have to find something like that. You had Numark's NS7 and V7. Now Rain has their 12. Maybe other companies will take a second look at that moving platter on a controller or on a media player. Who knows? Maybe Pioneer will come out with a CDJ-like device that has a moving platter. We'll see what happens, but those kind of developments I can see happening. Uh, anything beyond that, I, I mean, a lot is possible. You could even think about, I don't know if that's in 10 years, but like a VR situation where you have a DJ that's actually just at home with goggles on and headphones on, and he can see a club... Maybe it's a virtual club and he plays for that club and the entire crowd is at home as well. It sounds boring as hell to me, but I'm sure someone's going to invent that and show it. It might not catch on. I hope that doesn't catch on. It doesn't sound like a lot of fun to me, but there's all sorts of things that are possible. And then for all the, 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 the skeptics out there who feel that like technology is going to take us over, we might end up with AI that's smart enough that a computer will do the DJing for the DJs because it can now read the crowd, scan the crowd, visually read heartbeats and whatever, and uh, um, pick the perfect song to get the perfect reaction through algorithms. Now I'm getting technical, but it is possible. But for now, I see that happening slowly. So for the next 10, 20 years, we're still DJing the way we DJ. The equipment will slowly evolve. And uh, I don't know, I look forward to some of the tech and some other stuff will not be for me. I can tell that now. So while we're at it, let me know in the comments section, what do you think the next step in DJ technology will be? What's going to be like the next big invention if we take Phase, for instance, now as the real game changer from the last uh, uh, couple of years? 
Because let's be honest, the Rain 12 is not a game changer. That's not new. We had controllers with moving platters already. This one is just 12 inches. But phase, that is something new. So what do you see happening in the next 10 years that's going to be totally different? That's going to be like a game changer. Let me know in the comment section down below. Bazoogle makes it easy to build a stunning website for your music in minutes. You can choose from hundreds of mobile friendly themes and then customize your design and content in a few clicks with Bazoogle's easy visual editor. Now, all the features you need for a professional website are already built in, including tools to sell your music and merch commission free, mailing list tools to grow your fan list and send newsletters, and integration to pull in content from all your online services, including Twitter, Instagram, and SoundCloud. I use Bazoogle to create the Share the Knowledge podcast website and that was very easy. Banzoogle plans start at just $8.29 a month and include your own free custom domain name. Now, if you want to try it out for free for 30 days, click on the link in the description box down below and be sure to use the promo code SHARE to get 15% off the first year of your subscription.